about uh, ETPD pronunciation. I'm going to share my fa my favorite tip, my favorite idea, and my favorite activity. So my favorite tip comes from uh, Unit One, page fifteen. It's actually a combination of uh, tip one and tip seven. Um, the first one being that language is stored in sound bites, and that's why it's important to focus on pronunciation when you're teaching because it helps your students recall. And because it's stored in sound bites, you need to be doing pronunciation work in listening, sorry, in reading and writing lessons because if the students have good pronunciation, it will help them with uh, reading fluency <coughs> and writing fluency through uh, something called subvocalization, which is you're actually saying the words in your head as you're reading them or saying them to yourself as you're writing them. My favorite um, idea, it is something we mention quite often. I'm gonna <clears throat> talk about something on page 96 that Christina said. Um, I'll read it to you in a moment. Uh, we speak a lot about recording yourself. Uh, we're, as technology has gotten better, it allows us to record ourselves when we learn another, another language and then we can listen back to what we've said. Um, and Christina's idea is pronunciation can often go unnoticed in the language classroom, which is why bringing it to students' attention and documenting their progress are key, giving them evidence of their progress by recording them and reading aloud or speaking at the start, of the, at start middle and end of the school year increases their motivation and confidence. So for me, that is, I think, uh, one of the top ideas in the book, the ability to record and listen to yourself as you or as your students progress over um, a course of study, whether that be 10 weeks, a semester or a year. My favorite activity, I'm just gonna show you the, the um, photocopy of a worksheet. It looks like that. It's a telephone, it's called What's Your Phone Number? It's a minimal pairs activity. So in the activity, the example we have here is you've got fish and dish, um, you've got shop and sheep. So they're all minimal pairs. You've got chop and shop as well. Uh, they're all minimal pairs. And rather than saying my phone number is 0958, the students say my phone number is lock, rock, chop, slap. And the other student has to look at their phone and decipher what the number is. And what's quite nice about this also, uh, there's a, a blank one that you can use, but you can also make something where it's not just your phone number. It could be, for example, with young learners, you could have something like a spy, what your spy code and your phone number um, and your access code and all kinds of different things with numbers where the students uh, read the minimal pairs. And it's a very easy way for you then to see if, for example, a student has written down five instead of six, then they're struggling distinguishing between chop and shop or the person reading it mispronounced chop or shop so that, those three are my fun well my favorite idea my favorite tip and my favorite activity and i hope you enjoy etp the pronunciation